Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the fifth episode in Windows Privilege Escalation series. And this video we'll be discussing about weak registry permissions which can which comes under service exploits. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter. The link is in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts or get uh, updates regarding the content that I'm going to post, you can check out my Discord server. The link in the, link is in the description below. So guys, uh, previously we discussed about some uh, different service exploit ways, like how you can exploit some services and you can get your uh, escalation done. So we discussed some kind of uh, insecure service permissions, uncoded service path, and now we'll be discussing about Windows registry permissions. So all the links, so this room, which I'm going to mention is available on TryHackMe for free. And this uh, note, so this is my notes, which is some kind of like uh, a go-to. So if you haven't understood this video or if you feel something is missed, can go through this is like a kind of handbook and if you feel that you missed some previous videos in this series so the playlist so everything will be in the description below so uh, let's dive in so first of all start your machine so that's the basic thing and uh, now go to your kali machine and you can see i got an rdp session here and you can see i transferred few payloads here so shell.exe uh, to get like initial uh, command line uh, session for me and the reverse.exe like further for the further thing so it is conf the shell.exe is configured for port 444 like 44 and uh, reverse.exe is configured for like five fours like five 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 and we also have win piece uploaded so try to do so i uploaded all those stuff so it is kind of easy so and you can see i, I even started a listener here so let's run this shell.exe so so that we can uh, uh get a normal access uh, let me go back you can see i got a normal access here so let me close this thing uh, you can see we got a normal access if i do a who am i uh, you can see we are a normal user so which is the user itself so you can see that if i do a quick dir uh, you can see that we have some files which i've shown you previously so let's run win piece uh, since we are looking for something like uh, services info right like some people started asking me like uh, should we only run win piece with the options no like you need to have some kind of uh, like uh, a root or like a process or procedure or whatever you can call so for sure you can run with services info then you can run other stuff or you can simply run win piece by whole okay like if you run win piece by whole what happens is like it gives you a lot of output so it takes time for you to like uh, process it so that's happened so like a uh, win piece so but personally i like running it with some options which it provides and the option is services info okay so simply hit enter now, now we can see like uh, win piece we already seen that okay so win piece so guys like for windows closure escalation the most uh huge tool for me is like this thing only so i use this thing uh, tool like almost all the time you can see like we got some information here like here you can see some services info like if you can see if you can scroll down a little bit uh, uh you can find some service like uh with this uh, h, uh this registry stuff okay so first of all let's discuss about what a registry means and how you can do that okay so registry is a kind of database guys so first of all it's a kind of e, uh, database like for every applications or some service there will be some kind of settings so registry is a database which store all these settings okay so you can see like uh, we have this uh if you can scroll down a little bit you can see something like this guys so looking if you can modify any service registry so so every as i told you service has every service has a registry so registry if you want to know more about you can simply search but it's a kind to be simple it's a kind of database of settings okay that's it as uh, as much as that and you can see we got a location so for every registry so there will be some kind of like this so hklm system or some location you can see interactive and full control so so first of all cop let's copy this uh, registry location okay so which we can use it further so note it down guys so it's the best thing so open a pad or notepad or whatever it is okay so note it down so that it will be definitely useful for you and if you can see here uh, we have something like reg svc so it's a kind of registry service so which they are mentioning here so the service which we will be looking is like reg svc so let's dig deep about this uh, registry service and what we'll find so sc and qc for querying the stuff and reg svc 
okay so hit enters and also guys like take notes guys okay like you will not remember all this stuff okay so take notes okay like until you go to some kind of stage where you don't need a notes like you definitely need a notes till then so it's a good thing you can see like guys if you come to the output here you can see like the location and some information like this so the name is itself is like insecure registry service so that's the thing so like uh let's go and check what we can do within this location so we got an hklm location right uh, like the registry location right so what we'll try to do is like we'll try to run this access check and we'll try to see what we'll find out there okay so let's navigate to a normal thing like if we go to if i do a quick dir so we on like i told you previously that this particular machine which they provided in this room has some kind of location guys so priv as location which consists of all and the necessary tools so you can go there or you can simply transfer this access check if you're trying it on some different machines like i already told you how you can transfer that it's kind of easy so privesc and if i go to a quick if i do a quick dir you can see there is an access check dot exe so let's run this a c c e s s c h k dot exe you get a lot of typos guys so make sure you uh, look for look look for them so and then an option so accept eu la so this is an end user license so when you run this tool so you'll be getting a pop-up like do you want to agree the license or what but since we are running it with command line so this is the option that we need to provide and uh, we can have some option like some option like hyphen u okay so space hyphen u uh v w and uh, q k so i'm reading it from my notes and also guys if you want to know more about this tool like almost like uh, the things that i used here so if, I, if you go to this website uh this uh, docs.microsoft.com you can see a lot of options here so what a u does so to suppress the errors and verbos v for verbos show objects that have written access like we have some options here so make sure you check this thing if you want to have more information and then what you need to do is like just paste the registry a location okay so this is our registry location so just copy this thing and uh, just paste it here and let me hit enter and uh, you can see uh, read and write access to almost everyone okay so you can see read and write nt uh, authority uh, like you can see this is the thing like you can do everyone have all the accesses guys so that is the thing so that's a cool thing so what we can do is like we can try to upload or we can try to change some values in this particular registry so that is what we have so rw in the sense read and write okay nt authority system in the sense like it runs in with uh, the permissions or privileges of this nt authority system and you can see it's all, all access in the sense like everyone has access okay uh so now like this is the option that we need to check for now what we need to do is like we'll try to find out what this uh, registry consists of so what we'll try to do is like reg okay so query so these are like default stuff so and paste the location okay so if you want to find out more information about this thing that is how you need to do but like you can go to your uh, desktop like remote desktop connection and you can do something like uh, registry okay like you can go there and see as well but it is not recommended because like uh, you'll not always get a remote uh, desktop connection thing so you can see we got some few options guys so register as i told you has some kind of settings here like you can see there's something like type start error control etc like that but the thing which is interesting for us is this image path okay so which we can which is related to an executable okay since like we can only get a reversal as of now like by uploading a reversal or whatever it is so this option looks interesting for me but the other options are like uh, not much useful for me uh, like i already got a reverse.exe file so which is going to be which we'll be going to use so we got a location guys so image path so what we'll try to do is like so i'll quit this session once again and i'll start it once again guys like uh, it got to some kind of low like i can't use something like clear screen commands kind of thing here so let me run this once again uh, let me like first start listener and then run the executable guys or else you'll not be getting any session so we already got something like image path so how we can add it so if i do a quick dir you can see we already have this uh, uh, shell.exe or whatever it is okay so now let's run it so reg 
okay so what we'll try to do is like we'll try to add or replace that image path which we which has something like some random some executable with the executable which we have like which is reverse.exe and by before that let's uh, start a listener on the port which we uh, like configured that particular payload so hyphen nvlp and the port which i configured for is like 55545 okay so let me go there and let's do so reg add okay and paste the thing so paste the location of your uh, registry which you got okay and uh, slash v so which path okay which registry ed uh, edition or what you want to change which setting you want to change which is image path in my case like you might be getting a different thing uh, image path uh, sorry small like make sure you are not giving any typos uh, or else you'll get a lot of stuff and uh, slash t uh, r e g okay so expand and s jet so it's a kind of default option guys and slash d so with uh, with which you want to uh, transfer or whatever it is okay so which is reverse dot exe like since it is in the same location i'm doing the reverse dot exe but if you feel it is in the different location so make sure you can provide the whole or complete address there okay of the particular location where it is available and just use an option slash f and simply hit enter you can see uh the operation is completed you can see what it is like we just edited okay so the image path so if i do quick r e g a uh, query and if i paste the thing of the 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 this registry address you can see it's kind of changed okay so that is the thing uh, or it is always best like sometimes what you can do is like you can always give a complete path it's always a good thing okay so we'll do both like sometimes you can get an error like this so what we'll try to do is like you can see it is only showing reverse.exe here so which will definitely give an error guys so c uh, colon slash users slash user slash uh, reverse dot e x e and uh, let's option slash f let's add an option slash f and you can see operation is successfully completed and if i do reg q u e r y query and let if i paste it uh sorry uh, i need to copy this once again just a minute guys you can see that's the issue like you can't uh, go or whatever you can call uh, reach reg registry a uh, query q u e r y and let me paste that you can see now it is like uh, located in some path which is like reasonable path like previously you got like it stored with the name reverse.exe like it might not be always a possible thing to go so if you add a complete path it will be definitely useful thing right so what we'll try to do is like uh, we'll try to uh, uh, run this service that's the thing so uh, net okay start so if you can start service like this or sc start or whatever it is reg svc let me hit enter and uh, let's see we can see we got a session here so who am i we can see i'm an anti authority system so it is like the uh, admin kind of admin kind of thing but more than like this is for uh anti authority system is mostly related for services so services use this particular account or whatever you can call and uh, it, it has like uh more privileges okay so that is the thing guys so like i th i think i've covered enough okay so what we did is like we try to find out uh, some uh, service some registry location which is like having some kind of issue like everyone can do everything or whatever it is like weak registry permission that is what it is and uh, we try to dig deep into what the particular uh, uh, thing consists of okay what uh, what are the uh, settings it consists of okay and also what we, permissions we do have like we have the read and write and everything access to that and then we edited that particular uh, uh, like a setting so here it is image path for your case it might be a different thing so try to find it out so make sure it is some kind of uh, uh, something like uh something like an executable which you can upload so that is how you can get it and then we started the service we set it up the option and we started the service and you can see we got a session and also guys make sure you start your listener first and then run them okay so if you even though run them you can get a connection if you don't have a listener so that is it guys for this video
so if you feel you haven't understood or if you feel uh, like these commands or whatever it is hard for you like i i got covered it in my uh notes you can see like almost all i covered them you can see weekly strip permission i even copy pasted the how it looks like okay so looking for if you have uh, if you can modify any service registry or whatever it is and i, I can i even pasted the stuff here so that is it so like you can do check this thing out and uh uh that is it guys for this video if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested interested in this stuff and who are preparing for oscp or some practical exams uh, where this windows privilege escalation part is very useful and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you